Hey guys, I ran into a situation the other day. Um, I was pouring in a gallon of chlorine, a Hasa 12.5% uh, chlorine, and it looked kind of clear. Now, what I want to say is the place that I usually get it from when I'm down in certain areas, um, I ran into this situation before, and uh, but I never bothered to test it. So what I did this time is I tested the bottle of chlorine because I wanted to find out, well, how strong is this chlorine? Are they like watering it down? Are they taking Haas's chlorine and, and watering it down so they can make more money? Um, yeah, who knows? But it's like, uh, yeah, yeah, it's like, who knows? But let's just, um, let's test Haas's. I got Haas's chlorine right here. This is what it should look like coming out of the bottle. Tell how yellow that is. That is good quality chlorine right there. And, uh, and that's what Hasa produces, good quality chlorine. But when you're going into a pool store, that chlorine should be pretty strong because uh, they're turning it over uh, a lot. So it's not really sitting. So, okay, now what we're going to do here is now this bottle of chlorine right here, should reach, this is 12 and a half percent chlorine. So in 10,000 gallons, this bottle should read 12 and a half percent chlorine in, in, uh, in the pool. The 10,000 gallons, 12.5 percent, I mean, uh, PPM chlorine in the pool. And then you have, if you have a 10 percent uh, chlorine, that you should get 10 PPM of free chlorine in that pool with the 10 percent uh, chlorine in 10,000 gallons. Okay, so what we're gonna do, is we're gonna, we have, uh, we're gonna find out how much is actually in this, in this chlorine here, how many PPM we have in this chlorine. Okay, now the way we test that is, um, I already put the water in these things. So I got 100 mils of water in here and 100 mils of water in here. Now, what we're gonna do, here's my little rinse glass. Now, the way I did that is I used the Taylor test bottle here that we um, use and I used a plunger. So I'll put the water in here, drop the plunger down and that gives me exactly 25 mils. Dump it and there you go. Four times here, four times here. We got 100 mils in each. Now what I'm going to do is we're going to take out, this is also the tailor. You can use this for a number 10 reagent. Uh, you can just fill this up with the one mil line and there's your 20 drops. So what we're going to do now is take one mil out of this glass here. So let's take a, a mil and make sure it's all the way up to the line, which it is, all the way up to the line, and get rid of it. Let's dispose of that. Now we'll take a mil of chlorine, this chlorine right here. Let's get a mil out of this glass of chlorine. Yeah, we're right at a mil there. Put it in here. Mix it around really good. Okay, now let's just rinse this out so we don't get any like contamination or anything going on in there. Let's just uh, make sure we're nice and clean. Okay, now what we're gonna do is take a mill out of this glass. There's our mill, dispose of it. And then take a mill out of the glass that we have chlorine in. A little bit more. Okay, that's a mill and put it in to the other glass. Now what we have is a 10,000 to one mix. That's basically gonna be a 10,000 gallon pool, pouring that bottle of chlorine into a 10,000 gallon pool. That's what this is gonna basically represent. Okay. Okay, now what we're gonna do is, is test it. And what we're going to do is go down to the 10 mil mark so we can get a, a closer reading on our chlorine and we'll use the flat side in there. So let's put this right here. Put that bottle in there. I'll put that little, not bottle, but a little tester in there. And let's go down to 10 mil. We're going to use the flat side, go down to the 10 mil. And then just pull this out. Now we have 10 mils of water. Now you have to use the DPD FAS test on this for chlorine because this is going to give you the, the most accurate test possible. 
They give you exactly how much is in there. Put in two scoops. Doesn't really matter how really big they are or whatever. It's just like two scoops. You've got one big scoop, I guess, but okay. And you can tell right there that's pretty high chlorine. So, and then we'll use the R0871 reagent and we'll test it here. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, getting there. 33, 34, 35, yeah, about 35, all right, 35, so 35 drops. Now at a 10 mil marker, we go down to a 0.5. So we'll take our 35 drops times 0.5. That gives us a 17.5 ppm of chlorine. Damn, yeah, like I said, Haas is some good stuff. Um, this must be a really fresh bottle of chlorine right here because um, 12.5 is, is, you know, what you really should be getting. But um, that's really good stuff. That's 17. So what that is going to tell me now in a 10,000 gallon pool, I am going to get 17 ppm of chlorine in that in that pool if I dump it in there. OK, now, as you can see, we had 17.5 ppm of uh, chlorine. So in that the bottle now, this totally fresh bottle, awesome by Hassa, um, I am getting in a 10,000 gallon pool, 17.5 ppm of chlorine when I pour it in that pool. And that's, that's great. Um, so obviously you, don't, you, obviously you don't want that much, but it's good to know that um, what you're getting, what you're paying for, 12, you're paying for 12 and a half percent, I got 17. So I got a little bit more than uh, what I bargained for here. So, um, oh, and I want to mention too, the, uh, that, the gallon that I tested that was clear, that turned out to be 4 ppm of chlorine. Yeah, somebody was watering that shit down. And uh, that's not a good thing because, you know, I'm paying good money for this stuff. And I'm putting in chlorine in a pool that has to last all week long. And somebody's selling me 4 ppm of chlorine. Yeah, in a 10,000 gallon pool, are you kidding me? Four PPM, and if you have a 20,000 gallon pool, you're gonna put in two PPM of chlorine in that pool? That's not gonna last. And sometimes we wonder why, well, geez, well, why is this pool not holding chlorine? Well, maybe because we're not getting the 12.5, who knows? But um, that's what pretty much that told me. And, and uh, I'm gonna say it, it, it's not well, it's the first time that happened in that certain place that I buy chlorine from, but, um, but I'm gonna start testing it. Maybe start buying my chlorine somewhere else um, instead of that place, even though they're they're close to where my route is on a certain days. Um, so um, I think I might just have to figure something else out because it's not it, it's happened more than once, and uh, and you know and I'm not going to keep supporting a place that waters down their their stuff. Um, but anyways, that's the deal. And uh, so if you ever see your you're pouring in a light color of chlorine. That's how you would check it, okay? So um, if you guys have any questions, yeah, just leave them down below. Post some questions down below and, uh, and we'll answer those questions um, the best that we can. But anyways, all right, um, you guys have a good one. Later.